So this is a statement, uh, ladies and gentlemen, relates to the arrest and the prosecution of officials of the National Museums of Kenya. And um, today, the Ethics and Anti-Corruption Commission has arrested four officials of the National Museums of Kenya. And these are uh, Dr. Mzalendo Nyanga Kibunja, former Director General, National Museums of Kenya, Mr. Oliver Okinyi Rabor, ICT Officer, Mr. Weekly for the Ambo Ongata, Accountant, Payroll Section, and Mr. Oscar Maura, who is uh, the prime suspect in the recruitment of employees in that institution. The four suspects have been arrested to be arraigned before Milimani Anti-Corruption Court tomorrow, and this is in relation to embezzlement of public funds amounting to 490 million Kenya shillings, uh, which was embezzled uh, through fraudulent payment to ghost employees at uh, the National Museums of Kenya in a period spanning uh, five years. The officials uh, colluded and introduced the uh, ghost employees in the payroll system of the National Museums of Kenya and uh, made these fro uh, fraudulent uh, payments in the form of salaries that were later transferred to the senior officials. In other words, the officials weaved a scheme to defraud the National Museums of Kenya through payments of salaries to ghost workers, and later that money was transferred uh, to them. The four arrested persons are currently detained at the ESEC Integrity Center Police Station. They will spend the night there pending arraignment before court tomorrow at 9 a.m. In this particular case, uh, the suspects are five, so there is one yet to be arrested, and that is the Director of Human Resource at the National uh, Museum of Kenya, one uh, Mr. Stanvers Ongalo Opinja. Mr. Stanvers uh, Ongalo Opinja, who is believed to be at large, is directed to report to the Commission within 24 hours in order to be processed to face charges. These uh, suspects will be charged with the five counts of uh, corruption offences under the Anti-Corruption and Economic Crimes Act of 2003. And uh, besides presenting uh, them to court to take plea, ESEC will also be instituting civil suits in court to recover the amount that was stolen 